Hello and welcome. Today we're going to explore the ADI model, a useful framework for instructional design that's crucial for developing effective training and learning programs. ADI stands for Analyze, Design, Develop, Implement and Evaluate. Let's review each phase and uncover how it contributes to creating successful learning experiences. First up, analysis. In this foundational stage, the focus is on identifying the learning needs, understanding the audience's characteristics and defining the learning objectives. It's about asking who are the learners, what do they need to learn, what are their existing skills and what gaps are we aiming to fill. Here, it's useful to include input from any subject matter experts and key stakeholders. Next, we move to design. This phase is where we outline the high-level design strategy for the course, decide on the content and determine instructional strategies and media. Here, we create a detailed blueprint of the course structure, including modules, assessments and interactive elements. Following design, we have develop. During development, the actual creation of the course materials occurs based on the design blueprint. This includes writing subject matter, producing videos, developing case studies or simulations, creating quizzes and assembling the learning content. The fourth phase is implement. In this stage, the course is delivered to the learners. This can involve conducting training sessions, distributing online courses or a blend of both. Implementation also focuses on logistical aspects like scheduling, registration and distribution of materials. Finally, we reach evaluate. Evaluation is critical and occurs throughout the entire ADI process. It involves gathering feedback, assessing learners' performance and determining the overall effectiveness of the training programme. Evaluation helps us understand what worked, what didn't and how the programme can be improved in future iterations. Using the ADI model helps ensure that training programmes are systematically designed, developed and delivered to meet specific needs. It provides a flexible yet structured approach that can be adapted to any learning context. Thank you for joining us to learn about the ADI model. Whether you're designing a small workshop, e-learning or a comprehensive training programme, applying these phases will help you create more effective and engaging learning experiences. For more insights and ideas from the team here at LearnerBubble, visit our website at learnerbubble.com. Goodbye.